Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In this video, we'll take you through the complete process of resetting the Verizon E3200 router. Whether you're troubleshooting connectivity problems, resetting to factory settings, or getting ready to set up a new network, this step-by-step -step guide will help you reset the router easily and ensure a smooth reconfiguration of your network. Before we begin, it's essential to understand that resetting your Verizon E3200 router will remove all personalized settings, such as your Wi-Fi network names and passwords. This process restores the router to its original factory settings. Be sure to write down any important information or custom configurations you might need later, as they will be erased during the reset. To begin setting up your Verizon E3200 extender, locate a power outlet close to your primary router. Plug the extender into the outlet, ensuring it's securely connected. Choosing a nearby outlet helps establish a strong connection during the setup process. To reset your Verizon E3200 router, first locate the reset button, which is usually a small, recessed button located on the back or bottom of the device. You'll need a paper clip, pen, or any pointed object to press the button and initiate the reset process. Now, press and hold the reset button for about 10 to 15 seconds. Keep holding it until the router's lights begin to flash, indicating the reset process has started. Once released, the router will reboot, and this may take a few minutes to complete. After the reset, your router will return to factory default settings. To reconfigure it, connect to the router using the default Wi-Fi network or an Ethernet cable. Access the setup page via your browser by entering the router's IP address usually printed on the device or in its manual. After reconfiguring your Verizon E3200 router, it's important to test your internet connection to verify that everything is working as expected. Ensure that your devices can connect to the network smoothly and that your internet speed and stability are optimal. If you run into any issues or require assistance, our dedicated team of experts is ready to help you every step of the way. Don't hesitate to reach out to us for support, guidance, or any questions you may have. You can contact us at 1-323-507-3713. And that's a complete guide on how to reset your Verizon E3200 router. We hope this video has helped you. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative tech tutorials. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.